Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I have a grocery haul that I wanna share with you as well as uh, some stuff that I picked up at Costco. And I'm also wanting to share with you kind of like a food inventory tour of everything that we have on hand with our freezer and our pantry and our fridge. I'm trying to be a lot better in 2019 with food efficiency and like zero food waste. I'm constantly motivated by Deck Kick and Mom. She always is posting about zero food waste and I've definitely learned a lot from her, but there's definitely areas in my life that I can improve. So I'm trying to do that, it's like my New Year's resolution. Um, so I'm gonna show you everything that we have on hand. I know it makes a lot of people nervous um, to have kind of a low inventory of food. I totally get it, especially some of y'all who live up north. You guys are having a lot of blizzards right now and really bad weather. So I totally get like needing to have stuff on hand. For myself personally, we live in Texas, so we hardly ever get any kind of weather that um, kind of like cold weather, I guess you could say, that would prevent us uh, from going to the grocery store. We do get hurricanes from time to time, but we usually have like a lot of advanced notice with stuff like that, so I don't feel uh, the need to just have a lot of stuff on hand. I really like to operate more on kind of a lower scale uh, inventory because it just makes a lot more sense for us and our family and our budget. I used to grocery shop monthly, so I used to have like a ton of stuff on hand, but I just find grocery shopping weekly helps a lot more with uh, food waste and food efficiency and really keeping our budget low. And um, also I wanted to mention, I, I got my wisdom teeth removed about a week ago, so if I'm like, I'm still having a little bit of issue talking. <laughs> so if I kind of get like tripped up on a word or something, just please excuse me. But again, I'm gonna show you everything I picked up today and our um, inventory of food. So I hope you guys enjoy. So again, to try to operate more on a zero food waste uh, lifestyle, I try to only buy exactly what I need because I will shop my pantry first, make meals based off of what I already have on hand, and then everything else I pick up from either Costco or Walmart. Uh, so I always say that like, oh, this is just a little filler for the week because again, I'm using what I have on hand first and then everything else you see here is just stuff to fill in for those meals. Um, so starting off over here is the stuff I picked up at Costco. Costco has really cheap milk. I wish Walmart would lower their price for milk because it's like 305 a gallon and Aldi and both Costco have it for $1.99. So I've been going to Costco to get my milk lately and I just got three gallons. I thought you hate when there's like a little dent. <laughs> three gallons of milk this week. Um, and I also picked up some more ground beef. You guys, if you go to Costco and you've not tried this ground beef yet, do it. It is so good. It is super affordable. It's really great quality. My husband really likes it. Uh, really great. So it's five one pound um, like blocks or whatever of beef. And so we use this in spaghetti, tacos, like everything. So really, really have been enjoying that. I also picked up another container of um, sandwich meat because we will, we will definitely use it up and because it's on sale, so I figured might as well grab another one while I was there before it's not on sale anymore. This is good until March the uh, 1st, I believe. So we'll definitely use that up before then. And then I also picked up another box of uh, granola bars. I was kind of on the fence about doing this, but this box is only like five bucks and like some change. And we just, between three boys and my husband, like we have just been eating them. So. Um, de I, yeah, it was just one of those, like, just go ahead and get it because if not, I'm going to regret it later. I do have another one in the pantry that we've already busted into. So this will be a backup one, but honestly, Connor has these for breakfast. I put them in his lunch kit sometimes. The babies like them. So we'll definitely go through them. It comes with 64 bars. Um, and it comes out to about eight cents a piece while they're on sale right now. So I, I try to be good about stocking up on stuff like this whenever, uh, they have their sales, uh, Costco, I mean, so um, whenever I see certain things on sale, I try to stock up. And now for everything I picked up at Walmart, so I used the Walmart grocery pickup today. They only had one substitution, and I'll point that out in a second. So I got some taco shells. We're gonna have tacos this week. So really love the great value uh, taco shells, and then the taco seasoning. Again, just love it. Thanks for a really cheap uh, meal, and everyone really likes it. Also got some mac and cheese. We're gonna have ham and sides again this week. We had a ham leftover from Christmas that we made this week and it had a ton of leftovers. So just bought some mac and cheese to go with that. Also got some milk chocolate chips. I'm a, I prefer these like when I'm making pancakes and I put chocolate chips in the pancakes. I prefer milk chocolate rather than semi-sweet. So I like to have that on ham. Also got some fettuccine noodles um, that is for chicken, Parmesan and Alfredo. 
And then I also got some blueberries. These were really cheap. They're like a dollar or something. Um, so for two pretty large um, containers. Typically with fruit to try to find kind of uh, stuff that's on sale, I'll just type in fruit onto the um, Walmart grocery pickup app. And I'll just kind of scroll through until I see uh, cheaper fruit. Like for example, I got some grapes over here. These are 99 cents a pound. I prefer the green grapes, but they're like 2.89 a pound right now. And so since these are cheaper, I got these instead. Also got some pancake mix for um, breakfast for dinner one night. The babies love this uh, yogurt, so I got that. This is a substitution. I ordered, I think like the blueberry, but they substituted it with the mixed berry, which is fine. Also got some onions and some um, one bell pepper the, that's for Philly cheesesteaks. And then also the onion is for spaghetti and like tear top casserole and all sorts of stuff. Some bananas, that's a, that's a staple. Um, some mozzarella cheese, some extra sharp cheese. Extra sharp cheese is going to be for um, like tacos, tear top casserole. Uh, I think like maybe some grilled cheese sandwiches or something like that. Mozzarella cheese is for the top of um, the Parmesan or the uh, chicken Parmesan. Also got some provolone cheese that is for Philly cheesesteak sliders, and then some Philly uh, cheesesteak like meat. A lot of you guys ask where you can find this. So it's not in the freezer section, like where you'd find the ice cream. It's in between the freezer section and the um, the like fresh meat like department. It's in like the the big open areas where you see kind of like um, frozen burritos sometimes, and like hams and stuff like that, and like chicken fried steaks and things like that. That's where you can find these typically at my store anyway, but a lot of you guys have also said that that's where y'all find them. Also got uh, some chips that is gonna just be for sides and sandwiches and stuff. Some um, Q-tips, because we needed those. I haven't bought cookies in so long. I just was kind of randomly going through my favorite section in my grocery pickup uh, app, which is, I love the app by the way, because you can like favorite an item. And so sometimes if you're like, sometimes when you're at the store, you kind of only remember to buy something cause you actually see it. But when you're shopping online, you know, through the app, I mean, uh, you know, sometimes you don't remember certain things. And so if you favorite it and you kind of just go through, um, that little section, you'll be like, Oh yeah, cookies or, Oh yeah, this or whatever. So I saw the chunky chippers, which are just so good. So these will, I was about to say, uh, I would like to save them for Sunday dessert. The reality is, is that they probably won't make it till Sunday, but we're gonna try. So I got those. Also got some of my hot and spicy noodle bowls. These are so good. Also, if you take a little bit of mozzarella cheese and you add it to this, oh, it's just so good. Um, also got some uh, naughty soups. So I got some cream of chicken, cream of mushroom, and some evaporated milk. I typically don't really uh, cook with this stuff too often, but there are a few casseroles that call for this um, like like condensed soup that is just totally worth it to me. So I'm gonna make tear tot casserole and it calls for all three of those. So I got that and then I also got two jars of spaghetti sauce. One is for spaghetti night and the other is for the top of the chicken Parmesan. And then I also got some ragu classic Alfredo. So I'm always talking about how much I love Walmart um, they're a great value brand and I do but I ordered their Alfredo sauce a few weeks ago and I did not like it. It was just not good to me So I uh, I won't be buying that again. So ragu for the win when it comes to that But here's everything I picked up today. Now. Let me show you our food inventory. Okay, so here's my sad little pantry I actually plan on totally redoing this um like a little area sometime this year. I found a um, like shelf system at Lowe's I wanna try just to add a few more shelves and just kinda of clean it up because I don't like how it's placed right now. But starting off up here, here's some leftover Christmas candy. We've just been kinda of snacking on this and then I'll put a few pieces in Connor's lunch uh, sometimes for like an extra treat. Move that down here for a second. I have a box of cereal up here that I got at Costco. Um, try to get cereal from there whenever it's on sale. Also, this is just like a mix, like a chocolate milk mix that I make Connor sometimes. Half a bag of chips, an entire container of um, peanut butter. Ooh, and some crackers, just found some crackers. Uh, and an entire container of peanut butter. I got the, that on sale a while back. So that's just kind of an extra um, jug right there of peanut butter, container, whatever. Some cereal, use that for um, like around Christmas time just with some um, or for some Christmas baking. A jar of pickles that we have not busted into yet. So this top shelf is kind of more of like an extra 
like all the extra stuff that we have on hand, which is like where I'll put the um, granola bars and things like that. Also have half a loaf of bread. I still have an entire loaf in the freezer in the back, so I should be be good on bread for a while. Some of the hot and spicy noodle bowls that I like, except uh, this one is beef, or both of these are beef, and that's not really um, my favorite flavor for the chicken. Also have some of these little crackers that I get at Costco. Um, these are really great for like sandwiches, or I'm sorry, for lunches and stuff like that some more of these granola bars as you can see this is actually the second box that i bought the first one they already polished off so um here's just some cereal and a very small amount of goldfish some oatmeal that i got from uh well i got it from walmart but i was gonna say i ordered the great value brand but they're out so they substituted the quaker brand so had that on hand as needed and this is kind of messy but i have some canned good uh canned stuff over here so like tuna beans likes just some extra peanut butter, stuff like that. Uh, this is kind of like one of those little catch-all baskets that has like extra batter mix and like walnuts and just kind of random like condiments that we get from like, like Taco Bell, you know, uh, hot sauce and stuff like that. This container has um, kind of more grab-and-go type snack stuff. So this has, ooh, some applesauce. I, I'll put that in the baby's um, uh, diaper bag for like snacks these pop tarts that we've had forever i probably should just toss them at this point i don't know what the shelf life is on pop tarts some trail mix matt really likes that he'll take that out whenever he's fishing there's some extra tuna packets that we got at costco at one point so i'm sure that'll get eaten down here it's just kind of baking stuff that doesn't really like change at all and here at the very bottom i have some skinny pop and then uh some <laughs> a very small amount of lunch stuff left so I definitely need to, um, whenever Costco has this stuff on sale, I need to stock up because I'll buy just a bunch of the like fruit snacks or um, Rice Krispie treats and I'll just kind of dump it all in here. So whenever I'm making Connor's lunch in the morning, um, either I or he or whoever will come over here and just grab like, you know, two things or whatever and just toss it in his lunchbox. I also have one uh, container of apple juice for the babies. So I should be good for another like week or so. And... That's pretty much it for the pantry. Not a lot going on. Here's the shelf on the side. Just has like extra crackers, hot chocolate, uh, basically all of the seasonings and stuff like that. So here is the pantry. Okay, so here is the fridge. So starting off over here, have some coffee creamer. I think both of these are like half full. I really love the caramel or the chocolate caramel by Great Value. My husband likes the caramel macchiato by International Delight. Have one protein shake left. I definitely drank up a bunch of those last week. I got a um, carton of eggs from Aldi yesterday because I also needed to get some milk because I was almost totally out before I went to the store today. So I just got half a gallon of milk and some eggs because they were super cheap. They are like a dollar seven or something, like crazy cheap. Um, and I, I didn't really need a ton because as you can see, we have a lot of eggs left. And a lot of you guys ask me about this basket because it looks kind of like farmhouse type. I like where I got it I mean um I I'm pretty sure that it was one of those things that I got like years ago um at Christmas time one of those baskets that you get from Walmart that has like the cheap shampoo or not shampoo but like body wash and like just a little gift basket and so um it was probably like 10 bucks for like the bundle of stuff and so I just always kept the basket because I think I probably put like my hair iron in it um like hairbrush and stuff like that but for the last like several years I've used it as a little egg basket because I just think it's super cute but I see these everywhere I mean you could easily find something uh to mimic it down here i have some meat so this is the ham that we cooked uh two nights ago so i've been um i used it in our fancy mac and cheese last night and we'll have it again for dinner this week matt made a sandwich out of it earlier uh, this is some rotisserie chicken i get these at costco and i'll shred them put them in the freezer and then just take out a bag because the twins love chicken so um or any kind of meat really and so i'll just pop a few of these pieces into the microwave warm them up shred them up and just give it to the babies for like a quick lunch with like some grapes. I have some um, ground beef in here ready to thaw. And then I have kind of like a little bit of a salad left. I've been using this for sides for dinner and for lunch and stuff. Some grapes, really need to use that up. Down here is the produce. We have quite a bit of produce left. So I have some um, romaine lettuce that I got at, got at Costco, some carrots. Matt still needs to make his green sauce that he likes, onions, um, some hummus, cilantro, uh, what is this called? Spinach, tomato, 
all sorts of stuff. Cucumber back there. Wasn't very good about using a purdy last week because I just wasn't feeling super hot, but that's okay. Down here, it's kind of the fun drawer. So I have some turkey meat, sour cream, Philadelphia cream cheese for bagels, like one slice of cheese left. The best butter in the world, this garlic herb and butter, um, garlic herb butter, so I'm trying to say sorry, by Kerrygold. I like to take like a quarter of this, melt it down, and brush it on top of some um, crescent rolls. Oh my gosh. Also, you add like a little bit of mozzarella cheese on the inside of the crescent roll, roll it up. It's amazing. Uh, some shredded cheese, a big uh, container of Kerrygold butter. I hadn't used that up yet. One stick of just regular butter, some bacon, all sorts of stuff. So not doing too bad. All right, so here is the bottom freezer. This is pretty full, so I'm wanting to really kind of try to go through this the next week or two and use up a lot of stuff in here. Uh, over here I have some chicken nuggets and some chicken strips. I get both these at Costco. Chicken nuggets are great for salads. I'll give them to Connor and like the baby sometimes for a quick lunch. The chicken strips, I like those for chicken strip wraps. Also have some little mini tacos. I got those at Costco. Matt really liked them. And then some bagels for breakfast. Over here I have some maple flavored sausage, some chicken uh, or uh, fish sticks, and then some chicken patties. I'll use that for chicken parmesan. Just real easy, pop them in the oven pre-cook them and then put some spaghetti sauce and mozzarella cheese on top. It makes for a quick dinner. I also have some tear tots down here. I'm gonna use that for the uh, tear tot casserole we're gonna have this week. A bunch of freezer PB&Js for Connor, some mixed vegetables and green beans. I got those at Costco and definitely need to use those up. Uh, chicken pot pie, little burritos, hot pockets, some um, chicken fried steak. Uh, some ice cream and then this is half of a cake that I baked the other day that we'll use next week for Sunday dessert. So definitely a lot of food in here. I'm hoping to uh, use it up in the next week or so because I really need to clean the inside of this as well. So it's always easier to do that when there's no food in here. So let me show you the freezer outside. So here's the freezer out in the garage. Not a lot going on out here, but we just have a loaf of bread and some King's Hawaiian roll. Well, I like to use those for our Philly cheesesteaks. And then a big box of waffles. I got those on sale a few months ago because the babies were just eating them like crazy. And then of course, when I stocked up on them, they just like weren't interested <laughs> in them anymore. So I haven't tried to give them some in a while. So I, I might try to pick up on that here in the next few weeks and see if they kind of are interested in them again because I like for them to eat them. Um, also got some Hot Pockets, got those on sale actually last time I was at Costco. And then two chicken pot pies. So this is one of those like freezers that like the ice um, grows on the shelves. So maybe I just need to take this stuff out temporarily and like unplug it to let it uh, thaw, I guess. I'm not really sure. I haven't done that yet. This is a fairly new freezer to us that we got for free, which is awesome, but I've just never had one of these before, or I don't know, maybe you're supposed to have this stuff on here. Let me know what you all think. But that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm about to go put everything in the freezer and the pantry and stuff. So I'll show you kind of a little after clip of everything all nice and stocked. And thanks so much for watching guys. And I'll see you in the next video.